All right, here we are, folks, for this guitar showcase tonight. This is my good friend, the German Butcher. He's in the house, literally in the house tonight. Yeah, he's literally in the house. And uh, it's May the 3rd. It's Wednesday night. And uh, what Ralph was wanting to do, man, was go through all these guitars and uh, showcase them. He says all of them. So, so <laughs> we're going to, this is going to be a long video. So, uh, we're going to give it a shot. So, I'm going to let him have the honors here. All right. Number one. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Yeah, that's the, uh, this right here is the, uh, I got this, I got this guitar many years ago off eBay. And, and that, that's got the, uh, look at yeah, that's the what I call the Paul Reed Smith copycat neck. Yeah. I got it off I got it off Amazon. It was like it was like forty nine ninety nine for this. And uh I put new tuners on it. Um and uh Yeah, it's nice. I got this uh years and years and years ago for like hundred and seventy bucks off eBay. That's it. The original neck is right here where it says Wentz. That's yeah. the original neck. But I wanted a twenty two fret neck. Well I think these and, are you can show it on the camera a little bit so we can see it. There you go. And it's a, uh, yeah, it, it plays great. It's a great playing guitar for, you know, I did I did some stuff to it now to make it. I think the heck is a real good idea. Yeah, it wasn't bad for forty nine ninety nine. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad at all. So that's, that's guitar number one. What are these two back here? Uh, that that should be a Strat, and then behind it would be a, a Epiphone SG. Okay. Well, let's go with this one that says Dwayne. Yeah, okay. What Dwayne means, I don't know. That is in reference to Dwayne Allman of the Allman Brothers Band. He was the guitar player for the Allman Brothers Band. Yeah. Nice case. Yeah. Yeah, this is, this is an Epiphone Les Paul Standard Pro right here and so uh, that was actually on the video of my 10 favorite guitars um it's a great playing guitar it's got some pretty good weight to it uh I love the color. yeah i love that color too that color it just stands out really well it has a a, a gibson strap on an epiphone guitar <laughs> but, but yeah Yeah, it's a. There you go. Good enough, sir. So the night is young, folks. We got plenty more to go. Uh, if you want some coffee or some snacks, we got some in the uh, in the lobby. We got a lot. The next up is the uh, SRV wannabe. That's pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> it's a wannabe. Yeah, you'll. It, it, and the reason I, I call it the wannabe is because it's. Uh, the closest thing you can get to an SRV model without dropping, you know, an extra thousand bucks. You gotta uh, push it over to the side right here, right there, look, right there. Pull, pull it out. There you go. There you go. Looks just like the Stevie Ray Vaughan signature model, except it's uh, it doesn't have SRV. If you look on the back, look at the back plate on the very back. See the image on the back. Anybody know what, who that is? <laughs> so, yeah, that's a uh, yeah. I love the gold hardware and all that. And uh, I did have a SRV model at one time, and um, I sold it. Thanks, man. Yeah, it's a it's a great guitar. Plays really well. That's got a brand new neck on it. The neck that was on there, I I um is actually sitting over there. Ironically enough. Uh, if you look at the necks over here, it's the second from the right was the original neck, and I didn't like it. All right, next up in this EVH uh, hard shell case, I named it Lucky Strike. And I uh, have to pull on the very bottom of the latches there. Right here, pull up on the tabs. The very bottom, pull up the tab up to you. Put your, yeah, right here, look. Oh. Yes. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I named it. I named this one Lucky Stripe because it looks like tobacco, right? So, and uh, my father used to smoke Lucky Strikes. Now that's a PV Wolfgang special. The pickups in that are not the original pickups. Um, they were, that's how the guitar came. Now I did put a new a gold Goto Floyd on there. The one that came with it was was uh, thank you. The one that came with it was horrible. So, uh, but yeah, that's uh, Lucky Strike, and uh, it plays plays really well. I really like it. EVH PV Wolfgang Special. Yeah, them them cases run about two hundred dollars right there. Nice, nice, nice. Very nice. All right, this one's. Uh, I Don't think. Like yeah, that there. would be this one. Okay. <laughs> okay. That would be that one. The Desert EVH right here is what that is. I like that too. Yeah, that's that one right there. Desert. This one is uh, Red Fox is the name of this guitar. Uh, it's going to be red. Well, well, yeah, it's going to be red, but but uh, also I love Sanford and Son, and I love Red Fox's character. This is the uh, guitar that, that when we covered Alice in Chains, Man in the Box. Oh, wow, that's a long this is time this ago. is the guitar I played on that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's that's nice, man. That's a PV, uh, another EVH PV Wolfgang special that is fully all original, stocked original. That's a uh, that's that's nice. That's nice right there. The only thing different is you can see at the locking nuts. I put titanium screws at the top really? yes sir and uh, you can tighten those suckers down and they ain't going nowhere that's the step above stainless steel so, so next next right here we have called black moon this will be another evh if i'm if i'm correct it should be a evh wolfgang standard and it looks like the surface of the moon so there we go. It does, doesn't it? It's it's uh There he goes. He's about to show it to you now, folks. Yeah. There you go. That's uh That does look like the moon. like the service of the moon? I mean, really. It does. It's really cool. That's a great playing guitar for a to put the high hooks on most of I did. Yeah, because because if you want to use the EVH straps, you got to have Well, you don't have to have the eye hooks. You don't have to have the dog clasps. Uh, but it's just how he always had it, and uh, you know, as a fan of EVH, that's what I I like mine to have as well. It's not a bad idea because you know the bullseye. Yeah, that it, it keeps it keeps the, uh, the top. It, it keeps the uh, straps from coming off. Yeah, the top hook come out of it. Right, 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 right. It keeps it from coming out. So now we got we got uh, this right here is a Sterling Sub. This red one. If I can back out of the way, you can see it. And um, these two are the exact same models right here. They're just two different colors. Um, but it seems to me that the pickups in the red one are just a little bit hotter than in the blue one. Just my personal opinion. And, of course, hanging up right here is the uh, Fender Strat. That was in the top ten video as well. And over here to the that's out of the camera frame. Can't really see it, but it doesn't matter. Is the EVH striped that was in the video from earlier in the week? Um, so yeah, so uh, Ralph, uh, he's he's a uh, yeah. This is going to be an original PV. This should be the one that I've had all the work done to it, if I'm not mistaken. The uh, quilt blue. Yep, that, that's it. This is the one that I just got back from the music shop uh, with the EVH pickup and the Seymour Duncan in the bridge. I mean the neck. EVH in the bridge. That's the one you just did the video yes, about. that's the one I just released the video tonight. As a matter of fact, about the uh, the whole ordeal and look at the brass block in the back. Look how big that's that chunk, brass. That right there really helps with the sustain and tonality of the instrument. Really believe does. believe it or not, I used to be one of those non-believers years ago, folks. I used to think that ain't that doesn't matter. Yeah, it does too. Makes a huge huge difference. Now you know. That's right. Yeah. This right here should be the Bumblebee tribute, and 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 uh, because it's got the yeah because it's got the uh, the dog clasps and stuff up here. Yes. Because you can't you can't put it in a case. 
because of those things right there. They get in the way. So great guitar. It's got a custom Seymour Duncan 78 EVH pickup in it. Sounds amazing. It sounds really good. If you're going through a really good setup, uh, that pickup really does very well. Does very well. And that that was a, a guitar kit. From put that yeah, I put it together. Yeah. Yeah, and it's a uh, you know it. <clears throat> I put everything in there, and I took it to a guy to um, I had him solder it up because <laughs> I could. I wasn't. I'm not good at that part. But uh, wow, at the rate he's moving, we'll be done in 15 minutes. Good lord, this is a uh, one of the new cases I got from Soundtown. Yeah, these these cases are. Or, oh, this is this is blackjack. This is and I gotta I gotta give Ralph credit for the name. I asked him if he could name it, and he said, "Hey, man, blackjack. It's a Black Jackson. That guitar is incredible, folks. That guitar, I got it. It was uh, what was it? Four hundred something dollars from Guitar Center online. And when I went to order it, they gave me like this thirty percent discount. How? Why? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. And it only cost me like what? Three, what three, three thirty-eight? Yeah, with out the door, three thirty-eight, free shipping. Isn't that beautiful? That guitar, man, I love Jackson guitars. And like I said, these cases you can get them on SoundTown.com right now for ninety-nine bucks for these cases. This kind of case? Yes, sir. With the TSA latches and all, it's ninety-nine bucks. You can't, you can't beat it. It's a great deal. It's perfect. What do we got next here? No name. On this one. No name. Oh, this this might be the uh, Charvel. It might be the uh, Charvel that I just played the. That's it. That's the 2010 Charvel that I just uh, recorded a song with. Uh, the I can't say what it is. I haven't released the video yet. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that beautiful burst on there, man. I like the black and white pickups too. Yeah, it 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 sets it off. Yeah. It sets it off really well. Beautiful, beautiful guitar. Thanks to uh, Chris's Gear Expor uh, was it Exporium off Reverb. Chris's Gear Exchange or Gear Exporium, one or the other. Yeah, he uh, made me a great deal on that on that Charvel. Wonderful guitar. Probably, yeah. That's okay. Yeah. It's the ones toward the back. Yeah, that's that's the that's gonna that's gonna be yeah. This is you can see the name on this Trust one. Me, we're nowhere near the we're, back. We're, <laughs> he says we're not near the back yet. Baby blue yeah, this is baby blue. This is the uh, now well. Oh, it's a flat blue. Yes. Now pick it up and feel that neck on that thing. Oh, blue. Yes. Feel that neck, man. Put your hands around that. That is a wonderful guitar. Change the uh, locking nuts on it? No, I haven't. That's all all stock. I haven't, really? I haven't done nothing to it. That is a that is a 2022 Charvel Pro Mod San Dimas. Yeah, baby blue. That's my favorite one on the top ten list that I just recently put out. That was the number one right there. Yeah, that was my number one favorite. It's it's a uh, it's a uh, it's great playing guitar. It's another EVH Wolfgang standard. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. I forget the name of that color. I can't remember the name of it, but uh, it's beautiful. See if that whammy bar is in that pocket down there when you get finished, please. If it is, if you don't mind zipping it up for me, please. If, if it's in there, I think it should be, but I don't know why I left it open like that. I guess I just was in a hurry and wasn't paying attention. But yeah, that's a beautiful guitar. Okay, thank you. All right, cool. EVH Wolfgang Standard, you can't go wrong with those guitars, man. I have no idea what's in this one. Okay, that is the uh, Keith Urban model that he, when he first came out with these guitars on uh, which, HSN or QVC, one of those, one of the two shopping channels. He come out with these style guitars for one year, and then they 
they canceled production. Can you can you can it plays pretty good? I mean, I had to set it up. It was it was horrible. But can you guess why they stopped production after a year? If you look at the body, what does it look like? It looks just like a Les Paul. Yes. So they they had to they stopped production on it, and he came out with a different model uh, a couple years later, and it was horrendous. And uh, and I ordered one, and it wasn't worth a hoot. It was bad. It was very bad. And um, I, it was so bad, I gave it away. I gave it to a, 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 a I, you know, believe me, dude, you wouldn't want it neither. And um, it was it was horrible. Now, if you if you're <laughs> very very desperate, you can go into Walmart, and Keith Urban has his own acoustic guitars for sale in Walmart of all places. So that tells you how the standard of quality is with that. Yeah, if it's at Walmart, it's uh, you're not uh, don't expect a lot, folks. I'll tell you that. What we got here? I have no clue. We got a hard shell Gator case here with the TSA latches. Ooh, oh, here we go. This is the the Lynch Lynch Leopard LTD from when we did our photograph cover. I didn't realize it was light colored. Yeah, cool. yeah, it's pretty kind of faded. Kind of get that little faded look. Yeah, man, the George Lynch LTD. When I saw you in the video the first time, yeah. I thought this was cut out. Yeah, oh, from yeah. from the yeah. video, it looked yeah. like the bottom part here was cut out, but it's just black. Yeah, it's just black. It kind of it, it kind of throws you off if you're not used to it. Yeah, I love this case with the light on it. Yeah, those these these cases with the LED light built in, they they're kind of pricey, but boy, they're nice if you're uh, you know wanting to. Uh, play a gig somewhere and you're trying to get your guitar out of the case that that light helps you out there it's pretty nice pretty nice okay. all right i know what's in here i can tell by the name this is going to be this is going to be the joe satriani black dog model now when you open it you'll he had this design on his ibanez's back in the 90s and these are not in production wow that's that's awesome yeah wow. Yes, sir. I told you. Some of these, wow. some of these, I had to drop a big dime on. Holy cow. This is the Satchiani Black Dog model. I don't yeah. Think the video is not gonna do it justice. That's okay. That is we can, incredible. Yeah. They even put on the pickups. They put some artwork on the pickups. Yeah, That's they did. It's nice, ain't it? Yes. Wow. <laughs> Looks like it just fits to your body. Perfectly too, the way it's curved in the back. This this is the one I just ordered the new Goto. I told you when oh, we, was out there, okay. we was out there talking, and the yeah. the Floyd that's on here now is is okay, but it's kind of eh. So I ordered a black Goto. That's where it's going on this one. Okay, it says Joe Satriani. Yeah, these are the uh, JS one hundreds, and uh, before he he changed and he went to, really to yeah, I love that's why I love the JS one hundreds from back in the day, man. The the, the uh, late nineties. Yeah, the late '90s JS100s. That's 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 where it's at. I mean, in in my opinion. Let's see what we got here. A brand new Gator gig bag. Oh, it's the Memphis, the very first guitar oh, the of the Joe Wentz Project's oh, career. It's like a <laughs> it's, that's the <laughs> Memphis man. That's. I might need two arms to hold that one up. That sucker's heavy, ain't it? I mean, that, that thing weighs more than a Les Paul, boy. I mean, it's prettier in person than I thought it would be. Yeah, it's... it's uh, It seems like these are aged, but that's just the way they look. They It is aged, too. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, I forgot how heavy these were. Yeah, it's... Wow. it's it's uh, that'll, that'll wear on your neck. It now. will. It, it wears on my back. I've done had two back surgeries. I can't play that thing, but just for a few minutes at a time. But it's it was my very first guitar, so I mean, I mean it's something something to hold on to. It's just a sentimental thing, you know. Yeah, but uh, I think you did. Yeah, that's the Urban Keith Urban model. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know how many we went through already, but. Reveal the number at the end. Oh, he says we'll, we will reveal the number at the end. He's keeping up with it. I'm not. So That's an empty case. That's going to be for you know what what, what happened tonight. So. Mm -hmm. You know what happened tonight. 
the yeah, yeah. An there is a we we made another order tonight so we got another charvel coming in the mail so and i have an extra case for it so this is the kind of case that their green guitars come in the uh jackson green jackson, jackson. oh yeah the, the the green jackson yeah yeah these these cases you get from you can get these cases from guitar center online for 99 dollars. but if you go to the guitar center the store they cost you 119 115 this is kelly kramer right here this is the one i i got not long ago from guitar center that's the kramer kramer pacer you see, you saw the video of this, didn't you? When sure, I, but in person they just... It's just, different, isn't it? Totally Look at the different. paint job. It's a beautiful kind of, almost a, like a glitter almost. It does have glitter in it. And I put a, uh, I put a new Goto on this too. Because the one that came, it came with a Floyd Rose Special, which was a piece of crap. Yeah, I got the little couple of Allen wrenches on the back if you need an Allen wrench, but... Yes, yeah, sir. That's I called that one Kelly Kramer. Yeah. Yeah, man. I don't know. I just th thought of a name. I was just trying to think of a name. I th I thought that sounded cool, you know, better than – I got quite a few blue guitars, and it's like baby blue, something, something blue, this and that blue. So I was like, this one, I need to just have a different name. So I thought Kelly Kramer sounded like a cool name, just for me personally. I don't know. Who knows, man. All right, he's back there in the stock room. Here he comes with some something else. Oh my goodness, what do we got now? Is there not a label? Nope. Yes. There is. Purple rain. Purple rain. Okay, I know what this is going to be. This is going to be the Paul Reed Smith quilt purple. Yeah, now this is an official PRS, but it's an SE model, which I don't care. They're all. Reminds me of Prince. That's. And the doves. There, you, the there you go. Hence the name Purple Rain. So, isn't that beautiful? That is beautiful. Doves on the inlay. Yeah, it's uh, it's beautiful. That came with a pretty decent Floyd Rose, but apparently it just did not hold its tuning. Yeah, I told you, man. Told you. I had to try to make a, you know, might be worth something down the road. Maybe not. I don't know. Some people go for quantity over quality. Joe goes for both. Quantity and quality. <laughs> I don't know. We're just trying to have fun, man. I just, I just love guitars. Ralph loves guitars, and this is, this is something we could do all the time. Two gig bags. All right, he's got two gig bags, and we're going to see what we got. Uh, this here, okay. This is an Ibanez. What does that say? G10 or GIO or what is that? GIO. GIO. Okay. This is a. Actually, this is a nice guitar. I bought it from my son. And he upgraded this guitar with EMG pickups. If you uh, look in there, the, the stock pickups are gone, and he put EMGs in it, and it it plays really good, man. Those are the same kind of pickups I think that's in your Zach Wild model, I think. It is. And um, but this, as you see, it's a hardtail. There's right. there's no no tremolo. No tremolo. It's hard, but it still plays great. It's a great playing guitar, and uh, I bought it from my son. He sold it to me, and he already had it hot rodded. So I said. You want to sell it? And he's like, yeah. So uh, that's where I got it from. And I have not played it in probably, I don't know, two or three years. It's been in the gig bag. So, yeah. So what do we got next here, my friend? We got uh, another Fender gig bag here. Oh, this is an Ibanez Dragon Eye Burst. Beautiful guitar. Uh, I did take the middle pickup out of it, put the the, the cover back on. Yeah, that that that's that's got a nice flame top to it. It's beautiful. I uh, I saw that online on AMS and, and match it to the headstock. Yeah, you see that once in a while, but that that that's the I just said I took the middle pickup out, and uh, because I was trying to screw it all the way down because it got in my way when I pick. Right. And um, it wouldn't go down no further, so I just took the pickup out and put the. Pickup anyway. I don't, and then put the the cover back on just so it wouldn't have that space there. That is a Dragon Eye Burst uh, Ibanez S series. Yeah, and it's a. Uh, I don't know, but that's a 
those these Ibanez guitars they play very well because they're lightweight, they're thin. They are very and lightweight. yeah, so here we go. What we got going on here? What's the name John there, sir? Five John Five Gold. There we go. There we wow. go. This is the I call the golden nugget. This gold strings and everything. Yeah, I put I put the uh, Maxima gold strings on there that Brian May used to endorse. He may still do it. I don't know, but uh, the strings are gold too. Aren't they? Yeah, the strings they've been on there for mm, they've been on there for a while. But I do have one more set that I'm I got in my drawer uh, utility drawer over there. Has a sparkle to it too, yeah. as well. Yeah, it's got a little bit of a little bit of that's a, hard a thing. little bit of kick to it. But that's a and believe it or not, I got that guitar from Amazon. Amazon, Amazon, 500 something bucks, brand new. And I got it, and I just had to do a little bit of setup to it, not much at all. And it was, uh, and it, is, it plays great. It plays fantastic. What we got here? Um, okay, I think I know what it is, but go ahead. This is Freedom, that's all I got. This should be a, yep, Joe Chatriani model. This is the one that Nathan, uh, it used to be mine originally years ago. And I traded it to my son, and then a little bit later I got it back from him. There's no weight to that at all. He hot rodded it up, and then I, I put the new gold Goto on it, and uh, it is hot rodded, buddy. Really yeah, that candy it's apple red. On there, but it's really cool. it's yeah. Like there's a wood grain behind it. Right, right. I didn't realize you had that many Ibanez. I love Ibanez guitars, man. Yellow spring. Yeah. That's weird. Yeah, they're, uh, the springs are what they call, they're not real high friction springs, but they're not real, real light gauge springs. They're kind of in the middle. Oh, this is the GTX snake skin. This is from back in the day. This is from back in the day. I have one. This like is this. from back in the day. And you got rid of it or something? It was, my, it was my third guitar I ever had. Yeah, That's GTX. And if you look at the snake skin paint job, that is hand painted. That is not... That is not from a, a computer. That is hand painted. That. It brings back memories. And that's the original Tremlo and everything. And um, it's it's okay. I mean, it does all right. But f for these guitars back in the day, they weren't bad. No, I mean, what are the, why has it got so many? Switches? It's just got the three instead of a, a you know for your selector switches. It's yeah. just different combinations as opposed to a five way switch. Remember you had yeah, that. And you see, I tried to get the matching snakeskin yes, strap, right. <laughs> but uh, that was my third guitar I ever had in my life. And, um, you know, it's pretty cool to hang on to the these things when you was young. You know, it's fun to look back on them and go, wow, man. And because if you, if you have a nice guitar and you play it and you go back to what you had when you was young and you play that and you're like, wow, I was playing that. Yeah. How did I play anything? <laughs> this is a... This is just a standard old Fender Strat that uh, I love very much. And um, reminiscent of your Memphis, but let's look at the let's look at here. Where does that starts with? Uh, okay, this is a 2002 2002 Fender Strat. Yeah, it's got some age on it. Yeah. <laughs> Legal drinking age, he says. Yeah, that's a great guitar. So yeah, I have quite a few strats, um, but I don't play many Fender strats without a, a Floyd. I mean, you can, but uh, yeah, I love using a, a, a vibrato arm because it's just you can accent more things, and it's just you know I got that from Eddie. You know that rubbed off on me from his playing style, but uh, uh, but yeah, I mean, I just that's just what I find fun. Everybody has their own their own thing. So uh, back in the uh, stock room he goes. He's digging some more stuff out, folks. Oh wow, you're gonna like this one. You'll you'll know what this is too when you see it. But this is a really nice guitar. Uh, I got this from. A gentleman by the name of Mark Blankenship off online, and uh, he really hooked me up with this guitar. He custom made this guitar, and this is a EVH Wolfgang 
standard, not a special, a standard that is custom painted in the style of Eddie Van Halen's Frankenstein right here, Ralph. Like this guitar right See here. That. Just like what he's playing it in that picture. Painted. It's just not tape on there. It's painted. No, that's paint. And uh, that's Mark Blankenship did that. And uh, what an excellent job he did. The neck. The color of that neck is unique. It's a, it's a baked neck. Yeah, it looks different. Well, oh, that one has one. Yeah, it's a baked maple neck. It kind of gives it that age look, but it's yeah. really what that's for is to keep the neck from warping. I like that flat black. Yeah. It's the yeah. Yeah, that's a great playing guitar, and it has a kill switch on it, too. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you, can, you know. That is pretty yep. Beautiful guitar. It plays. Of course, I named it Frankie. <laughs> Go figure. But, uh, yeah, that's a great playing guitar. Absolutely. All right, folks, we're back. We had to uh, go back in the warehouse there and do a little rearranging, he says. And, uh, so here we go. Here we go. This is uh, uh, Herman Lee. Herman Lee. So we know what this is going to be. For those of you who aren't familiar, this is a, another Ibanez Herman Lee artist model. Herman Lee, the guitarist for Dragon Force. And this is a... <laughs> and this and this particular model is not available anymore. His his contract with Ibanez is, is over. Is, yes, it has. And now he's with PRS, believe it or not. Is that a kill switch as well? It is. Uh, the guy I bought that from, he put that in there. Yeah. Because if you look those those guitars up now on eBay or Reverb, they don't have a kill switch. <laughs> yeah. So that guitar is awesome. It plays and it's very light and it's thin and it's uh, very comfortable to play. Very comfortable to play. Yeah. Through the fire and flames. That's it. Through the fire and the flames, he says. I've heard everybody play that song from an accordion to a, a flute to a harmonica. Yeah. I tell you what, people play it. I can't. I can't play it. And I can't. All right. This is a a, a wonderful LTD right here. This is a. a another reverb purchase and uh I, when i got this guitar shipped to me it was out of whack so bad the floyd that was on it wasn't worth a crap i went ahead and took it off and put a black goto on there and um it's got a kill switch and when you plug it in that kill switch lights up blue That's cool. yeah and there used to be a tone knob there and uh but now there's a kill switch yeah, this is a, a LTD uh, MH400. That is a great playing guitar. That was, uh, man, that thing, it's wonderful. Wonderful guitar. Absolutely wonderful. All right, next. All right, let's see. Well, Ralph's working up his sweat, folks, I'll tell you. Called Jackie Pink. Jackie Pink. We know what this is. Look at that. Look at that beautiful pink Jackson. Reverse headstock. Love that. Awesome guitar. <laughs> Might have to play that one, Joe. Screams 80s, folks. Pink pickups. Look at that. The reverse headstock. I love that. Yeah, that's. Why? that's I, don't know. I, I love it. I love it too, man. I don't know why. I love it too. It's just. It's just. You don't not any not nowadays. You you don't see it as much. Back in the '80s, though, you saw it all the time. Yep. That was just a a staple, you know. Oh yeah, on his Kamikaze model. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's go with the tweed cases. Yeah, what do we got here? Yeah, the tweed cases are nice. They're nice. This is called. Dorothy. Okay, this one's called Dorothy. So, uh, this this is this is yeah this is this is new. This is a uh, this is from uh, Main Street Guitar and Drum where I got the the work done on the PV EVH Wolfgang Special in the video. A lot of glitter. You do not see that that's, the camera at all, but that is a lot. Of that's why there. that's why it's called Dorothy because it wow. reminds me of Dorothy's shoes on Wizard of Oz, and you see the sticker on the back that. On the back of the body. Look on the back of the body. See, <laughs> and I and I I put the uh, 
I put a, a new neck on this one. This has a 22 fret Fender Tele neck that I've. I call that a lipstick pickup. Yep. And uh, it took forever to get it set up because going from a 21 fret neck to a 22 really kind of plays with the scale length a little. And uh, a bunch of a yeah, I, I didn't think it would. And it would boy, it does it ever. And and uh, yeah, all the saddles and yep. had to get all that adjusted and everything else. It took a few minutes, but we finally got it. And uh, the pickup in it could be a little stronger, but for what it, what it is, it's fine. You know, it's a, I thought it was a beautiful guitar. Woody. This one's called Woody. All right, here we go. You'll see why. <laughs> there you go. A beautiful Fender Stratocaster humbucker single single with a brand new, with a brand new Goto Floyd on there. And those pickups are hot as firecracker, boy. I'm telling you. I love the black uh, pit guard. Yeah. I yeah, I think it looks I think great. I messed it up. Yeah. Yeah, it looks great. Woody. Yeah, man. There you go. So it's a great guitar. It's a, That came from a company called the Stratosphere. Oh, they, they sell strats and all that. Yeah, they, and... Uh, Actually, that's where Baby Blue came from, too, the stratosphere. Yeah. Here is a third tweed. This is a third tweed case we got going on here. Wow. We could open up our own store, Ralph. Uh, and this is just my inventory, not including yours. So we can have a big. This is Goldilocks here. Understood. It's got a brand new neck on it. Should be a 22 fret, I believe. Yep. Yep. Yeah, Goldilocks. Yeah, that is gold as it gets. That is a look on the neck plate on the back. Was it a 60th anniversary? Yep, sure is. Show sure no. Plays great too. That is a classic vibe series. 60th anniversary. 60th anniversary classic vibe, and um, the original neck for it is right there. But uh, I want again. I wanted a 22 fret, not 21. Yeah, yeah. So went ahead and went in and swapped it out. And I haven't played it in a long time either. I need to give it some play time. Okay. This, this is a, another Satch JS100. It should be with a gold Godo Floyd Rose. Oh boy. Man, look at here. Look at here. Look at that! Look at that! Look at that right there! Make an offer, folks! Make an offer. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I'm just playing. Now these these JS100 models are they're uh, you can find them, but you have to search pretty hard, and uh, you know they're great. And it's before he started going to the next level of uh, Ibanez. And eventually he went from a double humbucker to a humbucker single coil, which I just don't care. I did. That gold Goto Floyd, I put that on. All right, folks, we'll be right back. We want to swap some more stuff out from the uh, back room. Be back soon. All right, folks, we're back. Oh, yeah, this is the one he asked about earlier. This is the lovely Jim Jr. that I nicknamed the casino guitar. I won uh, some money on a on a uh, poker machine at Harris Cherokee Casino and Resort. And uh, I hit just uh, about 520 bucks, and I bought this guitar. And I did upgrade the Floyd from the Ibanez Floyd that was on there into a gold Godo. Yeah, they call that they call that a monkey grip. That's what they call it. Mm -hmm. That's a, a beautiful guitar, and it's a great playing guitar as well. For uh, Jim Jr.'s great, man. Yeah, it's a great guitar. What do we got next here? Uh, it's a, oh, I know what this is. I can tell by the, I remember what the Squire case. This, if I'm not mistaken, you're about to be blown away. Yep, this is an all original PV Eddie Van Halen Wolfgang special with amber quilt one of the colors that's really rare hard very hard to find very hard to find 
Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful top. I like the, the double color pickups. Yeah, there. yeah. That one there is a – that is a well, monster. That's all, you need. that's all you need. Eddie knew what he was doing when he when he came up with all this stuff. Yeah. No tone knob needed, just one volume knob. That's it. And primarily, as you know, he just had one pickup for the longest time. Yeah, beautiful guitar. Beautiful, beautiful. It says Rosa on it. Rosa, all right. I know what this is. It's, uh, well, Rosa is is, is Spanish for uh, pink. Oh, really? Uh, you remember what guitar this is. Yes. And this is, uh, Rosa, this is the Charvel hard shell pink. It's almost a flesh color. Yeah. A little bit darker. Yeah. Yeah, it's a beautiful guitar and it plays wonderful. Sure. Do me a favor and put that bar in that Ziploc bag, please. That's why I keep them in a bag so they don't scratch up the. And apparently, I didn't put it back in the. Oh, in, yeah, I didn't put it. I didn't put it back in the bag. I'm sorry, but thank you for doing that. Um, it's always a good little habit to be in. Put your vibrato arm in a little Ziploc baggie, and that way, if it gets tossed around, it won't scratch the paint on your guitar. Yeah, you don't want to. Okay, whatever you want, sir. Okay, this is a. Yeah, he said the money shot. You right about that on this one. I'll tell you that. Original case, Satriani, twenty fifth anniversary or twentieth anniversary of uh, the Silver Surfer Ibanez Satch model. Well, there's a bunch more Ibanezes that are like that. The JS 100s are like that. Yeah, man. Beautiful guitar, man. That's I wanted one of those for years, and uh, I found that online from a guitar store, uh, a music sh uh, shop, uh, and they specialize in in high end guitars, believe it or not. And uh, I, I had the opportunity, man, so I, I got it. And it plays great. I remember when those guitars came out years ago. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, they were, you know, they were a lot back then. <laughs> they were. Uh, so, yeah. Let's see. What we got? Oh, yeah. There's the name on this one says Godzilla. So, and oh, wait, before you get going, I just wanted to say, a year ago today is when we got these. Remember? That's true. It was he, your birthday. He, he came over here exactly one year ago today on my birthday. And you can go back and uh, look at that video. I, I put a link. I'll see if I can put a link up in here somewhere um, for that video. That was the Guitar Center Lottery yes, video. Yes. There you go. There's Godzilla right there, the Jackson. And Isn't that something? Now, Ralph has one just like it, but he named his Hulk, I think. Yes, Incredible Hulk. Yeah, and uh, yeah, that's a, yes, yeah. I love that one too. It's uh, I hadn't changed nothing on that one. It's uh, it, it's it's always done really well, performed really well. But that guitar is exactly one year old today, man. Oh, I know what it is. Yeah, I know exactly what it is. It's the all natural. Jackson, uh, this still has the uh, the uh, Floyd translucent Floyd on there, Floyd Rose special. Oh, it does, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's nice. It looks pretty good. It's nice, yeah. It's uh, all natural, no kind of paint job on it, but uh, it plays great, man. It really plays really well. Plays really good. I, I got that at uh, Guitar Center and Guitarathon probably about, uh, what was that, 2000, 2015, 2016, something like that. Got a couple more here. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a giveaway right there with the shape of that. This guitar is pretty old. It's I mean, it was used, my wife got it for me for a, uh, I think it was our first Christmas together or something. There's a thing back here. Another one? Yeah. 
and uh, it's an Epiphone Flying V, and uh, uh, I upgraded to Floyd on this one. Um, the only problem is the the posts where the Floyd goes against the post up there. I couldn't get those old posts out of there, so the Floyd doesn't quite line up perfect. What would you um, call that color? It's not quite red. It's not quite pink. I don't know. That's a great question. I don't know. I've had people offer me uh, to ask if I wanted to sell this guitar. Really? And the original receipt and hang tag is still in there when she got it for me. All that, got, there'll be a year on there. Should be. 2006. Right here it is. 2006 is when my wife got me this guitar. And uh, it also came from Main Street Guitar and Drum when they were in a different location in town. Yeah. The pickups in it are pretty weak. The pickups aren't that great. Are they? Yeah, they're kind of kind of weak. But, you know, it's a sentimental thing. Let's take a break and switch out. I don't want to lay that one on top of okay. this case. Okay. All right. All right, folks, we're back. We got the last few here, and we'll be done. So this says Jimmy on the case. Not Jimmy Carter. Oh, yeah. yeah, buddy. Jimmy Hendrix, artist model, right here with the uh, Hendrix strap. There we go. Those guitars, man, now they go for about, I don't know, $1,200? When I got that one, it was uh, seven ninety nine. Yeah, it's like seven ninety nine or eight ninety nine. Now they go for between eleven and twelve, brand new. And uh, yeah, I got lucky. I I've, I've held on to that one, but I got it a long time ago. So they went up. They went up. Which I'm I'm shocked they weren't more expensive back then. We don't know what's in this case. It's I don't have it labeled with a. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, this is the my second guitar I ever had. My BC Rich that Nathan, uh, my son, got for me. Uh, yes, a couple of Christmases ago. Yeah. Yep. That is that's my second guitar that I ever had. Came from Reliable Music. Yes, sir. Came from Reliable Music. That's a good one, man. Mm-hmm. So you're saying after the. Uh no? Yeah, the Memphis was the first guitar. So this one was the second. Literally. Okay. Yep, and then the GTX with the snake skin, that was the third. Yes, sir. Yeah, that was uh, that's what it was. Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a, it's a heavy guitar, but it it plays good. The Floyd system on that thing ain't worth the crap. But Ocean Blue, Ibanez, Joe. Ocean Blue. Oh, okay, I remember what this is. I actually traded in a Telecaster for this at Guitar Center some years back. Yeah, look, they they they, they always are supposed to take the hang tag, and they for, and they forgot they forgot to take it. So I kept it. They're real funny about the plastic hang tag, so I kept it. That. That's a beautiful, beautiful. Another Ibanez, folks. It's a matte finish to it. Yeah, that's Slightly a. Matte. It's got a slight gloss. Right? It took me forever to set that thing up because it was not set up at all. But it it's a great playing guitar. 24 frets. It looks like it yeah, it's a great playing guitar. Great playing guitar, man. Yeah, I traded in a uh, a um, what was it that telly I had? A road worn Telecaster, fifties road worn telly, and uh, I did a video on my channel when I when I bought this that guitar. I did a video on this channel with that too. But yeah, see what we got here. Oh, this is uh my first Telecaster I ever owned. Cheryl got it for me. I think. Blue. It's a yeah, that's a beautiful blue. Here is the original receipt. 2006, February 21st, 2006. Which uh Yep. That's oh wait a minute, let me close this. 
and uh, I that guitar I played a lot in the last band I was in. That was my main guitar, believe it or not. That and uh, and I had another guitar with a Floyd on it, but that was the, my main guitar. Because all the a lot of the songs we did, they weren't real flamboyant, and you know, yeah, they didn't require a lot of whammy bar, you know, crazy stuff. Yeah, Tom Petty and Bob Seger and last one I believe. Uh, this one is called Betty. Oh yeah. This is Betty, folks. Named after Betty White, the great actress. Neck through body there. Yeah. Great guitar. I did upgrade the, the tremolo system to a gold Goto Japanese branded Floyd again. Because the one that was on there was a cheap Floyd Rose special. And it would not stay in tune. So There we go, folks. So we hope you kept up with everything. We uh yeah we we lost track somewhere. We lost tra <laughs> poor Ralph. <Rainos. laughs> he's he's wore out. Thank you everybody for watching this video. Big special thanks to the German butcher for uh, going back and forth out of the stock room here and uh, letting me just be the narrator here. I really appreciate it. Uh, it was great. I wanted to see him. He says he wanted to see him. I saw him. Well, all right, okay. we got to put all this stuff. We got to put all this stuff back. We'll we'll see you later. Thanks for watching.